Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to compare vectors in R. So, uh, very often times when we're programming, and certainly in basic programming, we need to be able to compare two values or two vectors with each other. And there are six main comparison operators that we're going to use, and I have these um, loaded at, as comments at the top of my R code. So we can see that if we want to see if two values are equal to each other, the operator that we use is the double equal sign. If we want to check if values are not equal to each other, then we use the exclamation mark and the equal sign. Note there's no spaces in between either of those um, to check if two values are not equal to each other. Less than and greater than are straightforward because they use the less than or greater than symbols. Less than or equal to and or greater than or equal to are displayed using the less than and equals to sign and also the greater than to equal to sign. Again, no space between anything here. So watch out that you get the syntax of all of these values correct. So let's say we want to compare uh, two values. So let me create two simple vectors. The first one is called x. I'm going to assign it a value of 5. And the second one is called y. And I'm going to assign it a value of 10. So we're going to compare x and y. So let me just run these so to create the vectors. We can see in our global environment that the values have been created and x contains a value of 5 and y contains a, contains a value of 10. So now what I want to do is I'm going to check, is x equal to y, is it not equal to y, is it less than or greater than, or less than or equal to, or even greater than or equal to. So the statement x equals to y, is that true or false? So when I run this line, we can see that the output in the console is that this is a false statement. X is not the same as Y, therefore we get we return a false value. If, however, we check it is X not equal to Y, using the exclamation mark equals symbol oper for the operator here, when I run that, we get returned a value of true because, of course, a X, a value of 5, is not equal to Y, which has a value of 10. So is um, x less than y? So let's check that. x less than y. Run. And we can see that that value is in the console is true because 5 is less than 10. Let's try and uh, see is x greater than y. So when we use that expression and run it, we get a value of false because, of course, 5 is not less than 10. So that returns a value of false. What about less than or equal to? So let's try that out. x less than or equal to y, when I run that, I'm getting a value of true because, of course, of course 5 is less than or equal to 10. And let's finish this section here by just checking the final greater than and equals y. So is x greater than or equal to y? Is that statement true or false? Let's run and see. And our output is it's false because x, a value of 5, is not greater than or equal to y, a value of 10. So that can, that's, this is amongst some of the most basic things that you'll need to learn how to use when you're programming in R. Uh, let's now compare um, um, entire vectors at the same time. So I'm going to create two more vectors here. I'm going to, first one I'm going to call A. I'm going to assign it, using the combine operator, I'm going to assign it three values, a value of 10, 20, and 30. Uh, let me run that to create the vector. And uh, create a vector called B and assign it a value using the combine operator of 10, 25, and 30. And we run that to create that vector. So you can see here, uh, what we're going to be doing is, um, in, for vector A, I'm going to be comparing the first value, 10, with the first value in vector B, then going to compare the second value in vector A with the second value in vector B, and finally do the same with the third value, 30. I'm going to compare the 30 in a vector B. So let's uh, do what we've done with the x and y. Let's do that with a and b here as well. So first of all, the statement a is equal to, to b. Let's see what happens when we run this. And we're going to get a slightly different output here because our vectors contain three values. So we can do multiple comparisons in this case here. So a is equal to b, well, it compares the first values in vector a compared to the first value in vector b. They're both 10, so that statement is going to be true. Okay, so we can see that's the first output in our console. The second statement, uh, 20 is equal to 25. Well, that, of course, is false. So we, there's, there's our false. That explains that output there. And 30 is equal to 30. Well, that's true. So we're getting a true value in our output. Let's try the not equals to ones. So run A not equals to B. 
and we're getting the opposite, complete opposite, false, true, and false, because uh, reading the, the lines of code, uh, A is not equal to uh, B, well, in the first value, 10 is not equal to 10, well, that's false, 20 is not equal to 25, that's true, 30 is not equal to 30, that's false, so the, the hence are output that you see in the console. Let's keep doing what we did with X and Y, so A is greater, we'll do less than first, A less than B, is that statement true or false? it should be lowercase b right so we're getting false true and false um, um a 10 is not less than 10 20 is less than 25 and 30 is not less than 30 so therefore we're getting false true false so i'm hoping you're uh, you're seeing a pattern arising here a greater than b so we should get the opposite of that and indeed we do is a greater than b well um 10 is not greater than 10 20 is not greater than 25, and 30 is not greater than 30. So again, we're getting an output with three values, and in all cases, we're getting false, false, false here. Slightly different uh, when we use the um, equals to and greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So let's try A, less than or equal to B. Uh, what's our output this time? So we're getting true, true, and true. So A, less than or equal to B. Well, 10 is less than or equal to 10. 20 is less than or equal to 25. 30 is less than or equal to 30. Therefore, we're getting true, true, true for this statement. And the final one here is A, is it greater than or equal to B? So try this and run. And we're getting true, false, true. So our first value in vector A is 10, and our first value in vector B is also 10, of course. So is that are they less than or equal to? Well, they're equal to each other. Therefore, that returns a true. The second uh, value in each vector, 20 and 25, well, uh, 20 is not greater than or equal to 25, therefore that returns a value of false. And finally, the last one, 30 and 30, are they, um, is, is A greater than or equal to B? Uh, they are equal to each other, therefore it returns a value of true. So in that way then we're able to compare uh, both single valued vectors like X and Y, and we're also able to compa compare um, um, vectors which contain more than one value. So this will become useful when you are moving on to things like iterative statements and more complicated coding in R, uh, but that's how you compare vectors uh, in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.